Welcome back to Talladega Super Speedway. We're about to go green here in the Flash Racing Cup Series. The starter has the green flag in his hand, and we are about to go green for the regular season championship here at Talladega Super Speedway. As the spinner is going off, here comes Kevin Harvick. Here is Kevin Harvick. He is the fastest car out there so far. What a great start for Kevin Harvick. But is that going to be enough? so far in this race, but we're going to have to see what teammate Chase Briscoe has up his sleeve. Let's see what he's got. All right, Chase Briscoe. And Briscoe is not going to pass Harvick. He is going to help him right here. He's going to give him a shot in the back bumper. The pushing has begun here out front, and it's between these two Stuart Haas cars right here, the 4 and the 14. Stuart Haas Racing is making a presence here early on here at Talladega. Here comes Christopher Bell in the number 20. See what he's got. Not going to really make that much hay. He does not have any teammates to push him, and those cars by far have the advantage. So the 20 is going to hang around, but he is not going to pass those two Stuart Haas Racing cars. And that's going to be it for, Chris, for Christopher Bell. Here comes Daniel Suarez in the number 99. Let's see what he's got. And that number 99, Jockey Chevrolet. And it looks like he's not going to pass Christopher Bell. He's going to hang around. This, those two Stuart Haas racing cars have more momentum than those two have. So teamwork from the 4 and 14 is keeping them out front. Harvick has not won a race this season. So... That 14 car could be a big help in that early on. Harvick needs to lead as many laps as possible. Get used to that car being out front. Here comes Flash Racer in the number 94, your first championship contender of the day. One of two championship contenders. Let's see what he's got. And here he comes. He's going to pass. Daniel Suarez, but Suarez is going to push him right here, and this is where the teamwork between Chevys begin. Suarez giving a shot to Flash Racer, and here he comes. The momentum is quite big right here. It's going to be a little, little bit difficult to beat out the momentum of the Stuart Haas cars, which still have the slight advantage. Bell is out in the middle of nowhere, and the battle between Ford and Chevy begins here, and Flash Racer is the lead Chevy, and Kevin Harvick is the lead Ford here in this Flash Racing Cup Series Talladega race. That 20 car looks like it could be out to dry here to start with. But here comes Joey Logano, another Ford. So that's going to be another advantage, having Joey Logano. Because that's going to be a three-car tandem. Let's see what he's got. Is he going to pull that out? Joey Logano. Here he comes going to make easy work of Christopher Bell. Not even going to push him. Not even going to give him any advantage. Bam! Right behind the 14 car. And another car to add to the momentum. And there it is. Christopher Bell has nowhere else to go. But looks like the Fords have three cars. So they're going to be way faster than the 94 and the 99. The Chevrolets need another Chevy right here. It's only the 94 and the 99. While the Fords have the 4, 14, and 22. And it looks like Harvick still has the best shot so far with Briscoe pushing him. And of course, Joe Logano entering the mix. But here comes another Chevy. That can all change. Ross Chastain. Got to spin better than that. Here comes Ross Chastain in the K1 speed Chevy. Here he goes. And of course, he's going to join the Chevys. Bam, Christopher Bell's out of the way. And he's going to get right to Daniel Suarez. And now it's even. The odds are even right now between Harvick and Flash as Ross Chastain pushes Suarez and Flash Racer. And now we are almost even. They are going to be back and forth all race long here out front. The Chevys and the Fords. Harvick, Flash leading right here. Chastain entering the mix, pushing his teammate into Flash Racer. And you can, now you have two three-car tandems right here. But of course, as soon as more Toyotas start coming in, 
Christopher Bell could become a threat. He is the fastest Toyota, so if he has anyone else pushing him, he's definitely going to have a shot to win and get by these guys. But this is how it's starting out with so far. It's what we're starting out with so far. Austin Sindrick, the other championship contender. He needs to get out front and see what he's got. The Fords know that he is the one competing for the championship. So it looks like Logano is going to try to help him right here. Sindrick. And here's Logano. And oh, they're not going to stick with the Haas car. Check this out, you guys. They're going to slice through the middle. Logano is going to push Sindrick. Almost get some turn right there. Three wide. It's getting aggressive. A huge shot from Daniel Suarez. Another shot from Joey Logano right there. And those two Haas cars lost a lot right there. They were shocked and surprised by what the Penske drivers were pulling off, the 2 and 22. And now we got a three-wide jam out, jam up out front. And now the 2 and 94 have caught each other out front. There it is. And now the Haas cars are fighting to stay in the mix. Check this out. It's a wad up out here out front. Look at that. Unbelievable pack racing. Three wide. And, of course, Bell... It's going to stick behind the one. He has nowhere else to go. But here comes Chris Buescher in the number 17. I promise. Ford right there, the LeBron James car. Let's see what he's got. His first race with this car. Another Ford. Let's see what he decides to do. Who does he go with? And it looks like he's going to push Joey Logano. And that is going to push Sendrick to the race lead right here. And the fans are going wild as Austin Sendrick is now out front and leading the championship battle with that 10-point difference between the 94 and the 2 car. And they are battling it out right here. But, of course, it's with the help of their teammates, their manufacturing teammates right here. So here comes William Byron. Another Chevy Camaro in the mix. Let's see what William Byron decides to do here at Talladega. William Byron, Fireball Byron with the flames on the car. And here he comes. Christopher Bell's going to move out of the way. He's going to try to push Byron, and Byron is going to go in the Ross Chastain right there. Bam, there's the shot from behind. Bell is actually going to go up with the other Fords. He's literally in no direct contact with anyone teamwork-wise. But Byron, another Chevy to push. The Chevys now have no momentum. Check this out. Now, uh, William Byron's pushing, and now that they have more momentum than anyone else with four cars, that gives Flash Racer the edge. And Christopher Bell, once again, out in the middle of nowhere, and the Haas cars are falling. They could be falling in momentum because now they have the least cars in a tandem, and now it looks like Flash Racer is the one out front. His teammate, Philip Torres, is way behind, so this could be his only shot to get it done. Here comes the first, the second Toyota. Simon Torres. Let's see what he's got. The Toyotas need a lot of help. And their first source of aid is going to be that number 71. Bam! A shot to Christopher Bell. But the problem is, the track is all blocked up and congested. There's really nowhere for these guys to go. They're going to have to go with either the Fords or the Chevys and build that momentum to get by them. But all that Christopher Bell has right now is Simon Torres and the number 71 Camry. So that is really all he has a shot for, the Toyotas. And the battle continues out front, the pushing and shoving with the Chevys and Fords. Carl Larson in the number five. Let's see what he's got. Another Chevy to the mix. Let's see what he's got. Larson is going to go with that Hendrick car right there. There is no more room to go anywhere else. And that's even more momentum for the Chevrolets. Look at Kyle Larson. He's going to join the mix, and they're going to start separating from each other. You don't want to be too, too close, because then you'll ca cause a wreck. But there it is. Flash Racer clearly with the advantage. He is in the lane with the most cars right there. And, they, of course, they're not even going to get too, too close, because they realize if they get too close, they're going to crash. But they have a lot of momentum on the inside right here. But those two Haas cars are shuffled out. They got screwed by the Penske racing cars, and Tony Stewart is probably not going to be happy about that. His organization did not get the benefit of the doubt whatsoever. The Penske Fords are the ones that are going to battle it out against those Chevys. Ryan Blaney in the body armor Ford. Let's see what he's got. 
does he have what it takes, folks? He's in a Penske Racing Ford. He knows what has to get done. He needs to get Cindric into the championship lead right here. And he's gonna has nowhere else to go. He's gonna give him a shot. He's gonna give that lane a shot, and then he's gonna go with the Haas cars. Interesting decision. He's gonna make that outside line move. And is that gonna be enough? Toyotas are backing off right there. The Blaney is still pushing. And of course, he's putting a lot of pressure, hopefully, to get to the bottom, the middle lane, and get to that 22 car. Get to that 22. And another huge shot right there from William Byron. Chastain, it literally caused a domino effect right there and almost wrecked everybody. But look at that. Blaney's trying to find a way in to get to that 22 car. And of course, that 17 car is in a sandwich right there. And the Toyota literally have nowhere to go and Larson is holding back. Here comes Ty Dillon in the number 42. Let's see what he's got. That 42 car is another Chevrolet Camaro. He doesn't have a lot of horsepower compared to the other Chevs. So the Toyotas are going to go to the outside. Literally, there's nowhere else here. He's not even going to stick with the five. He's going to send it down the middle? And he's actually going to get side by side with the 20 and into the 17 right there. So he looks like he's out there for himself almost. They didn't try to go with the Chevys right away. He is running his race. He is going wherever he needs to go. Your best friends are where you find them if you are Ty Dillon right there. Kyle Busch, final super speedway race with Joe Gibbs Racing. Here we go. Here comes Kyle Busch. He's going to go with the Toyota. Huge shot right there. It's going to give him a shot up to the Fords. And look at this. The Toyotas have joined that outside line. And now that line is moving. Look at that, folks. And they're going to move him up. Look at that. And now Harvick to the race lead. Kyle Busch had just enough of a shot right there. And it pushed them all up. Harvick is now out front and is probably going to have the best shot to win. But in terms of the championship, Looks like Austin Sindrick right there is in second. Flash Racer is leading the championship, and he is battling for the lead with Harvick right now. Now as they're heading into the turn, as you could tell, Harvick is still got a bit of an advantage over Flash with all those Fords out there. They got a lot of momentum going for them, and that is the battle for the lead so far. Sindrick is still in second place in terms of the championship, and Flash Racer is still leading. And as you could tell... The Toyotas are struggling. They need a few more cars. But when they pushed that outside line, it made them all move. And it gave that whole outside line an advantage. Keselowski in the number six right here. The Kings of Lion Ford. Let's see what he's got for the field. Brad Keselowski, number six. He's a Ford, so he might have to go with the Fords. Ty Dillon is in the way. Get some. Oh, Ty Dillon's been turned by Brad Keselowski. And Ty Dillon's day is done. Unfortunate for that number 42. He's going to the garage, but Kislowski just turned him to get to Chris Buescher right there. What a slick move. What a slick, slick move. And now the Kislowski cars found each other. Okay, we got a few more Toyotas. Let's see Martin Shrix Jr. in the number 19. Let's see what he's got here. Another Toyota. Is this going to help? There's just no room. The Fords are all blocked off, and Toyota just made themselves a disadvantage by having some of the slower cars. That one fast car of Christopher Bell is not enough. They needed to have multiple cars in the front in qualifying, and that did not happen. It's really hurting them. Bubba Wallace in the number 23, another Toyota. Can there be some kind of shift in the pack that will allow them by? We'll have to find out, but here comes... Bubba Wallace in the Wheaties car coming right at the camera. And let's see, he's got a faster run than those guys. Boom, he's going to get behind Brad Keselowski. There's just not enough room right there. And looks like the Toyotas are trying something. Truex going to the bottom, going to push Bubba Wallace into those other Chevys. So it looks like you got three Toyotas up top and two on the bottom right there. They're, they are scattering, trying to find every advantage possible. Here comes Philip Torres in the number 46 Chevrolet. Finished second last weekend at the Bristol Dirt Race. Really disappointed about that. Maybe today he can take advantage and try to get a win, but he also knows that his teammate, he's the team owner of that team, that Philip Torres. He knows that Flash Racer, his teammate, needs a chance. 
He's going to have to move swiftly through the pack. Oh, makes contact with Kislowski right there. It's just too much congestion for Philip to get anywhere. He tries to make it three wide. Almost forces, forces the issue right. Philip Torres almost wrecked everyone with that move. Really crazy. Bam, right in the back of Chastain. He is doing everything he can. Chastain is constantly blocking. Philip Torres is not going to be able to get to his teammate, Flash Racer. He's going to have to rely on the track house bunch right there to get that 94 pushed all the way to the front. So technically, Philip is trying to push the 94 without even being close to him, just using the cars around him. That's the best he can do right now. Kozlowski and company have moved up quite a bit now that the field is moving up as well. There's a 6 and 17. A quietly good day for that organization here at Talladega. But the battle out front continues. Flash Racer is still the leader. He got Chase Briscoe behind Austin Sindrick, who's the second place championship fighter here. But of course, the Chevys and Fords are sticking with each other. You got four Chevys right there, four Chevys in the inside. And of course, you got four Fords on the outside. Here comes Harrison Burton. Let's see what he's got. That number 21, the rookie. Let's see what he can do in that number 21. Probably not a lot, but he is probably going to have to... Oh, yeah, there's definitely no room for him to even get up to the rest of the fourth. He's going to have to find his friends where he can find them. At uh, 21, is going to find himself under Kyle Busch and behind Martin Shrix Jr. All right, here comes Ricky Stenhouse Jr. in the number 47. Let's see what he's got. Ricky Stenhouse, he's always aggressive. Look, he's already starting it right at the quarter panel of the 21, and he's going to get a spot right there. That's as far as he's going to go. So it happens when there's not a lot of room to get anywhere else. It can be really, really hard to pass because of this style of racing. If you move out of line, you're going to the back. Here comes Izzy B right here in the number 36. Let's see what Izzy B has. Not a lot of room for her either, but she's going to go with Kyle Busch right here. Push him into Simon Torres. And that's as far as she is going to go. Eric Jones, who won this race last year. He's your last Talladega winner. He won the Thanksgiving Bash edition of this race in 2021. And we're going to have to see what he does this year. Where is he going to finish? There is not a lot of room for Eric Jones to even move anywhere. But look at that. Harrison Burton is going to go with that forward of Izzy B. Izzy B is going to push him towards the middle. Mm, that's going to be interesting, but that allows the 43 to get to the 47. Kyle Busch and Simon Torres block those forwards. Here comes Eric Amarola, last week's winner at Bristol Dirt. Let's see what he's got. And he's going to go with those forwards. Bam, right there. Gives that 21 car a nice shot. But the Toyotas have, are successful. They've been successful at blowing, throwing that block. And that is not going to allow those three fourths to go anywhere. No matter how much they're going to try to push. There's just not enough room. But here is the pack. As they're going by right here. Race has been pretty interesting so far. In terms of the pushing and drafting. As it always is at Talladega. Alex Bowman in the number 48. Let's see what he's got. Here he comes, the 48 Chev of Alex Bowman. Here he comes. Boom. Right behind the 43. Bam, into Truex. And that's as far as he's going to go. He can't really go anywhere else. Here comes Jessica Monnet in the number 13. Another Camry. Are they going to find an advantage somewhere? They certainly can do it. Here she comes. Those Fords are going to try to block her, but man, she is forcing her way in. She's going to send it in the middle. Makes contact with the 21. Makes it three wide right there. Those Fords, when you, car, when you have a car that has that much momentum, it's going to force them out. Boom. Contact with the 48 and 36. Another shot from the 21. Just a couple of nicking and knacking going on in the field. But of course, a 13 car. This field is starting to get a little congested, you guys. Time to see him get pushed up because they need, there needs to be more racing room. Coming to the front straight away. Looks like Harvick's still with the advantage. And of course the Fords are all finding each other. Getting ready to push for that moment. 
Kozlowski and Bush are doing the best they can together. Looks like the outside line is starting to move, but look at that row of Toyota Camrys. Look at Bubba Bell, Truex, Torres, Bush, Monet, and that's as, about as many Toyotas as you're going to see, and Bowman is the one falling behind. All right, they're not running as fast as he usually does. Uh, but check this out, you guys. Harvick is the one that's out front still. Those Chevys, they're still kind of scattered out, but there's only four of them together. But there's Byron in case he needs to come in and make some action happen and get those Chevys to where they need to be. He'll be there. Alex Ross in the number 89 Camry. Look, another Camry. We just showed everybody all those Toyotas that were in that line. And looks like he's going to find his teammate. Bowman is going to get shuffled out. Bam! Looks like the Toyota Sports cars are looking to find each other right there, right behind Kyle Busch. And into the 71, who's going to be into the 19? So look at that. They're trying some type of effort right there. And it looks like they could be moving a little bit more now than usual than they were the whole race. Bowman, though, is still lagging behind. Not one of the faster Chevrolets in the race. Is the action... Continues out front with Flash Racer and Harvick still battling side by side with their drafting partners around them. Here comes Cole Custer in his final Flash Racing Cup Super Speedway race. As of right now, his future is unknown. Let's see what Cole Custer. Cole Custer is going to find his teammate Eric Amarola. Oh, chops Bowman right there. Oh, Bowman's around. Bowman's day is done. As Cole Custer shuffled out the 48 right there to get to his teammate. And unfortunately, that contact was enough to get the 48 irritated and uh, turned around. So, really unfortunate there uh, situation. Here comes Denny Hamlin, another Toyota. Let's see what he's got. Lots of super speedway experience and victories for Denny Hamlin. He's a three-time Daytona 500 champion. Who's to say he doesn't help the rest of the Toyotas find their way? Boom, he gets to the back of... Oh, we got a crash. We got a crash. Cars are getting collected. Too much of a shot from the 11. Bam, huge hits. The outside barely gets away. And Hamlin wrecks a bunch of them right here. Kyle Busch, Izzy B. Simon Torres, another wreck for him. And Monet. And of course, Alex Russ. We got the first big one of the day. And five cars. Days have ended right there. Hamlin tried a little bit too hard and has just defeated half of the Toyotas. Eliminated half of that entire organization right there. Unbelievable right there. Unfortunate. Big wreck right there. All the drivers have climbed out of their race cars as the Fords are getting ready for the next run. Man, those were big hits. Hamlin tried a little too hard. And only three Toyotas remain left in the race. So here comes, here's another Toyota, but half of them are gone thanks to Denny Hamlin's over-aggressive move. Now Reddick is going to have to play with whoever he's got left. So let's see what Tyler Reddick does. Tyler Reddick with a lot of speed right here. Wow, whoa, that car's a fast one. Holy cow. And he's not going to be able to go anywhere else. There's not enough room. Uh, because all those lanes are blocked and congested. The hole for Toyota just got bigger. It's getting bigger and bigger and bigger. But here comes Coil of Joy, the number seven. And his engine is gone. He's going to have to bring his car in. Some of the smaller teams are having issues preparing engines for these races. Uh, here comes the number 38 car of Todd Gillen. Let's see what he has for the field, if anything. He's got some sort of speed in that thing. Bam, a shot to the 21. They're going to try to get to the middle. Ah, nowhere to go for these guys. Noah Gregson in the number 62. He's going to go to the outside. Boom, a shot right there. Not a fast enough car. That's a smaller team, so their chances of winning... Definitely not going to be as high as the rest. Oh, man, look at that. Six cars back there that are three wide. Here comes Austin Dillon and his fast pro shop chef. He really needs to get his career turned around. RCR has had a disastrous season. Can that change next year with Kyle Busch? We're going to have to find out. 
It's a lot of change is going to happen with this series. That could definitely turn the table, uh, turn the tables for RCR. But here comes the last three cars. Here comes Greg Bipple's 44 NY Racing Chev. Let's see what Greg Bipple has. Biffle's gonna go to the middle here, but once again, the back of the pack is starting to get all congested up back there. All right, so the battle still rages on. Two laps to go here at Talladega. Here comes Kazgrala. Let's see what he's got. That Money Lion team, that money, that money team does not run a lot of races. The Flash Racing Cup Series is one of the smaller teams, but their car sure doesn't look like a small team car with all those colors on it. And it looks like they're going to find a way here to slightly inflate their finishing positions right there. Uh, but that's not going to be a lot. One lap to go here at Talladega Super Speedway. It's going to be the Ziegler car of Josh Balicki. But let's look at how this race is stacking up. Looks like the regular season champion could be Flash Racer if he maintains his lead over the two. He has to do whatever it takes. And of course, Kevin Harvick is in the mix. Oh my goodness, folks. Check that out. Look at that. Top five right there. Top ten. All big teams. The small teams really could not get up there at all. But Daniel Suarez is going to be a good finish if he can maintain that. Ross Chastain, Philip Torres. Wow, and Harvick's looking to get his first win. Let's see what happens. Final lap. Here comes the 77 of Josh Balicki. Let's see what he's got. What a fast car. Oh, he's going to hit the wall. He's wrecked out big time. But they're going to race to the flag. Early 2000s style. They're going to race their way to the flag. And here they come. Down the straightaway. Harvick and Flash are battling. Cindric is going to make a move on the outside. Makes it three wide. Harvick is down the middle of the racetrack. Chastain is going to give a huge shot. And that is going to turn Flash around. Suarez, Chastain, Harvick. Philip Torres gonna barely get through there. He's wrecked. And we got a huge wreck right there. Unbelievable. Crashing to the line. The two car wrecked ahead of the 94. Huge crash right there. And now it's gonna be between gonna be between Logano and Byron as they're gonna funnel their way through the wreck. As they're all making their way through here. We're gonna have to see what happens now that a big wreck has happened. What's gonna happen? Coming to the line. Spinning the spinner. Who's going to be the winner between Logano and William Byron? Coming across the line. Looks like, oh, Blaney's going to get Byron a shot. Side by side. The, he pushed the wrong car. William Byron wins at Talladega. Unbelievable. Who would have seen William Byron coming? William Byron wins at Talladega. And here come the rest of the field as that was a huge wreck right there. And those guys funneled their way through. And William Byron is the winner of the race. And another huge crash right there. Burton, Gregson, Gilliland was collected. Bam, the three car right into the 38. Huge wreck right there. That's going to collect a lot of them right there. And there are not going to be a lot of room for the rest of them. But that is going to be it. Gra oh, sh crap. <laughs> Casgrala got in the 41. What a massive end of this race. William Byron gets his first points paying win of the season. He didn't get a single one last year. And now he is going to get one today. A super speedway win. That's William Byron in the number 24 Exalta Flames. Throwback paint scheme goes to victory lane. First place for him. Second for Logano. Third for Busher. Between Blaney, we're going to have to see who did that. We're going to get the lineup set up, you guys, so we know where everyone finished. The mess is getting cleaned up. The drivers are climbing out of their race cars. But William Byron is your winner here at Talladega. In that beautiful Flames car. It's going to win a race. How awesome is that? For William Byron. William Byron is your winner. The winner of the Sony Animation Pictures 500 here at Talladega is going to be William Byron in that number 24 Chev for Hendrick Motorsports and that beautiful Flames paint scheme. How crazy is that? William Byron wins a points paying race and that's going to be huge. That is going to be extremely huge for William Byron. This is 
Incredible. Unreal for William Byron. He finally wins. He's going to get out of the car. Not going to celebrate as much because they're still cleaning up the mess back there. But here are the finishing results of the race. So we'll get it from far. The cars that have been turned and slanted in the lineup have gotten wrecked and destroyed in a crash. But have finished the race regardless. And of course, we can't really celebrate as much because this car is destroyed. Austin Sindrick looks to be your regular season champion here in the Flash Racing Cup Series. Congratulations to Austin Sindrick. You are the champion, although your car is in the, in the garage area. But look at the mess right here at Talladega. Unbelievable. So, yeah, guys, that's going to be it for the race. And, of course, William Byron is your winner. And that is going to be the Sony Animation Pictures 500, the end of the Flash Racing Cup Series regular season. So, we hope you guys enjoyed today's race. It was a crazy ending to the race. That is going to be a big... That's going to be a lot of talk with Chevy because look at that. Ross Chastain cost them a lot of cars, but at least William Byron got the win for them. So thank you all for watching the Flash Race Cup 3 Season 4 at Talladega, and we'll see you guys in Nashville.